Mayfield back with Terry Brands. And now we're getting ready for Edwin Cooper, the junior, senior, at Joliet, Illinois, going up against TJ Rochelle, redshirt junior. Should be a pretty competitive match. Rochelle, whoa, Cooper in there. Didn't even give Rochelle time to even shake hands almost. Rochelle out of Crittenden, Kentucky. His brother Kyle, two-time All-American, assistant coach for the Badgers. Cooper comes out, quick takedown. And that's exactly what the you know, Iowa coaching staff likes to see out of, uh, of him is to get out there and I think he's one of those guys that, that you know, kind of like we saw before with Topher Carton at 41, where you know doesn't quite have the confidence yet, and uh, doesn't realize that uh, he may not he, that he's in a great position in a match, and to be able to really kind of put it up on it. Now he's hanging on a on his power ride, and Russell doesn't really not moving very well. Now he's covered the fingers, close to the edge. You gotta be careful here if you're uh, Cooper and you just push him off in this situation, get called for stalling. Nice mat attempt for a mat return. Michelle coming off a, a tough run. Um, lost to Berger by major decision in the Nebraska dual meet. First time he wrestled in almost a month and earlier on in December had uh, a few losses in the row. Just like this young man, Cooper had three losses in a row before he got a pin uh, last week against uh, Patron from Northwestern. But like so many, he met up with Imar, Isaiah Martinez, got tech fault. But, you know, who isn't getting scored on with high scores against yeah. Imar? We're looking to forward watch. to that match here between uh, Jason Nolf and, and, and Imar potentially with the Illinois Penn State duel. That'll be a good one to follow. We had that on uh, BTN to go. So and BTN sure you... Plus, uh, uh, you know, you, it'll be, uh, if you subscribe to BTN Plus, that's where you can find it, stream it. And all those matches are archived out there, so if you don't catch it at uh, meet time, you can go ahead and catch it sometime later in the week. So a lot of people be talking about that match there between Nolf and uh, Isaiah Martinez. Two to one, early takedown by Cooper. Rochelle gets out after a minute, or after a minute 20 of riding time. And he's got circling back in. The referee hasn't called him for stalling. They're gonna work back in the center. Diving in on a shot there is Cooper. Able to follow up with it. He's doing a good job of stuffing the head, right, and making Rochelle work. Good call by the official here because he's back straight out. And you know what? You don't have to wait till the the, the athlete goes off the no, mat to I call that stall. Exactly. And that's that's a good call there. Eric Lerke, the official today, and, and uh, slide by attempt. Cooper has really been committed to trying to move forward in this match. Here's the quick takedown here. Shake Cooper. hands and shot out of a cannon right there. Double leg for Cooper, two. And that was the only score for Cooper. Rochelle got out after a minute 20 riding. Rochelle going to choose down to begin the second period, trailing two to one. Point of emphasis again this year is that starting position, a full count, legal cover. And, and Rochelle has moved twice now. It's a second caution. We're in the middle of the season. You shouldn't have to explain this to these guys. Cooper's coming on top here. He's uh, had a quite a journey to get to this point to start for the Hawkeyes. He won a national junior college national championship at Iowa Central. Then he's laid out a year and competed at Upper Iowa, uh, where he finished as a runner-up in Division Two. And, Made his way to the Iowa room and this year as a senior, getting the opportunity to be in the starting lineup. And 
you know, Tim, sometimes it's just as simple as what side of the body you decide to get on, you know. I don't know if you've ever spent any time around horse training, but a horse is totally different when you're on the right side of its body than you are on the other side of it, right? And, you know, you could you could be well-trained on one side and then come up on the other side and try to do Completely the same thing. Completely foreign to, to you. To, yeah, and that's what's happening here with Russell is that he's totally out of water here with uh, Cooper on that right side. He's done very little, right, to get that back. Now he rolls through and gets the escape, but he's taken almost three minutes or two and a half minutes of right advantage time, two and a quarter here for him to get that figured out. But the important thing for Rochelle there is he did get it figured out. He got one. It's two to two. Now riding time certainly in favor, but there's the shot in. Rush Rochelle staying open and letting in on this and if he hooks that leg he's got the double and does he's got to move that left leg and hook that leg i think russell understands that but you know if you don't move very often here you're actually showing control and so the fact that they're not scrambling here gives cooper an, an opportunity to go ahead and frame this that he does have a takedown locked hard in that crotch there's the takedown so Cooper with another takedown goes out in front four to two and it came at the end of the period. If he rides him out, that's a big takedown and ride. Okay, end of the second period, we go to the third period. Cooper leading to Rochelle. Here's the quick escape where, the, where, where Rochelle just goes for it here, casts across, puts a little bit of risk in there, but is able to square up. Now he's going to go ahead and choose the, the uh, Cooper shows the neutral right. position. And he should feel pretty good about his ability to score. Rochelle ended up trying to go ahead and get to the leg, low leg. Now he's trying to come between the legs, come out the back door. Cooper has an advantage. Drops into the single leg, runs the pipe, and scores. Cooper over Rochelle, six to two. Iowa throwing a shutout, 21 to nothing as a team right now. 165 coming up, Zeke Jordan. Again, Russell's already been warned for stalling on the feet. Cooper really not coming out much to the side. The referees, I don't know, sometimes you just go ahead and say, you know, work, work to the side, you know, come out. Bottom man's just got to just explode. You saw where he, it worked for him before, where he just threw caution to the wind and was able to get to his feet. One minute left in third period. Cooper over Rochelle, 62. Really mounting up the riding time here. And that's warning against Rochelle. And that's one point for Cooper, seven to two. Probably talking about the major decision now. It's um, actually a six-point. I don't. I don't. I don't think Coach Brands is concerned about that. He's yelled from the corner, "Keep him down." He wants he wants Cooper to finish this match in the top position. Working that, I think keeping that, the weight on top of him really well. Great ride so far by Cooper. And I think that that, that for for Tom Brands, he's thinking, that, you know what? I'm not concerned about Edwin's Cooper, Cooper's ability and his athletic ability, his ability to score on the feet. I want him to control guys particularly at the end of period. So this is more about the future than it is about immediate team points. Four minutes of riding time. Going back to the center with only a second. Cooper looks good. He's uh, back on track. He had a pin last weekend, and now uh, he's had a very dominating performance against Rochelle here from Wisconsin. And you know, when you ride a guy that long, he usually sort of shows some wear and tear, but he looks looks fresh. There's your winner, Edwin Cooper Jr. And uh, goes to nine and six, a winner by decision.